Well, Ellie got to see a baby goat pretty much be born. What else we got going on? Thank you. Very gentle. Oh, you're licking my camera, you goofball. <laughs> Finkel is clearly getting uncomfortable. See, she doesn't even want me to touch her, which is not usual for her. And how she's holding her tail like that, very unusual for her. Little doc, my little future small room in it, but. Not your day, Sai. It's Finkel's day. Leave it to a goat. Don't you bite me, Fink. You're not a biter, but don't start now. If there was any time I could forgive a goat for biting me, it would be in labor. Barefoot in a barn. Cult. For a birth. Yeah. There's a farm girl right there. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Kaylin. Welcome back to Fable Hill Farm. This is my Nigerian dwarf doe, Finkel's birth vlog. I'm going to take you guys along for as much as I can film showing you Finkel's labor and delivery. Finkel is a first freshener, meaning that this will be the first time that she's ever had babies. She is a yearling. She is, um, well, really like a year and a half old. And um, she is bred to a really exciting buck. His name is TUA Farms Bold Image. He is a star B buck. His dam is a superior genetics elite doe. And Finkel's dam here is a superior genetics elite doe. There is um, a lot of milk, a lot of production, and a lot of data behind this breeding. Finkel's littermate sister, Hundeholz, it's not Snowflake, was bred to the same buck, as well as her dam, uh, Ruth, was bred to the same buck. So uh, excited to see these kids, just praying for a safe, healthy delivery for the babies and for Finkel here. And I'm excited to take you guys along for the process. I know it's a bit dark in my barn here, which nature of the beast, I might actually bring in a lamp so I can see better. Uh, it's actually the middle of the afternoon. It's around 1.30 p.m. Uh, it's a Wednesday and I just put Ellie down, my daughter, for a nap. And I'm out here with Finkel. I've had her stalled for a couple of hours now because I noticed that she was getting really aggressive towards our younger goats, our kids. and that's while she is the herd queen, meaning she's a dominant goat in our herd, uh, and she can be a little bit more aggressive than the other goats. She was very aggressive in not letting them come into the barn, so I figured it was time to separate her. She's also bagged up a lot. You know, her udder is filling with milk. She had some discharge this morning around 6.30 when I was first in the barn. Probably her mucus plug that she lost. She's got a really erect uh, tail. She is extremely uncomfortable if you touch her back. She's really like kind of diving away from you. She's grinding her teeth, meaning that she's in pain. Uh, if a goat is grinding its teeth frequently, that is an indicator that goat is in pain. And uh, she did have at least one contraction that I saw a little while ago. You see the way she's holding her tail. It's very uh, stiff and erect. And that's not normal. So that was an indicator to me that she was definitely, um, you know, in early labor. She's also got a pretty full bag going on, but she's got a lot of edema or swelling, which is normal, but it's not quite tight yet. So not all does get super tight in the udder, my mentor said, but, um, it seems like she's still got more room to make more milk. So I don't know how far we are from active labor just yet. What are we thinking, Finkel? Like this evening or what? You could just pop them out real quick while Ellie's taking a nap. That'd be fine. But this evening's okay too, girl. I haven't noticed her like talking to her kids. Um, those may do that kind of just chat with their kids as they get closer to delivery. 
I have noticed her pawing quite a bit, and that's a sign, you know, they kind of nest and do that whole thing. Uh, she's got, you know, hay, she's been eating, she's got water. I'll give her molasses water uh, once she delivers, give her some nice warm molasses water. Her kids have definitely dropped. So they're nice and low in the belly. And, um, you know, no mucus or discharge yet to indicate she's moved into active labor, but um, she's definitely in labor. No sign of ligaments here in the tail. There are two, like, pencil-like ligaments, got flies here, that are right around this area, the base of the tail. And I'm not feeling any ligaments. I haven't for a while. I did go ahead and give her 10 cc's of calcium gluconate and that is to prevent in the chance that she doesn't have enough calcium for labor to progress and they can develop um, a life-threatening condition in labor if they don't have enough calcium. So if she doesn't need the calcium, essentially she'll just, you know, expel it as waste, um, but she has it in her system. And then I will give it to her again once she has delivered the last kid before she delivers the um, placenta. And um, you would also give it in the event of labor stalling that can help to increase contractions. So, but it's not going to start contractions, but you, I, you also don't want to give it just to give it. You want them to be in labor. My mentor has recommended to me to give it uh, once I notice that a doe has lost her ligaments or starts, you know, pawing excessively. So that's what I did. So here is my revised kitting kit after having gone through a kitting and just kind of reevaluated what I actually need. I'll go ahead and show you guys this real quick. Pretty straightforward. I got a bunch of towels, clean old towels. Labor is messy. I've got a humongous jug of this, um, turn it around here, uh, veterinary lubricant. If I needed to check her, got a lot of lube. I've got, this is actually where my stethoscope goes, but it's hanging up elsewhere. Um, I've got some alcohol if I need to sterilize anything. I've got molasses for later for the molasses water. I've got my goat health binder here. And this has like a mantra card for checking that. It's got let's see, dosages for medication, stuff about fecals and then what I just put in here yesterday I think you guys can see this are all of these things on like assisting with kidding and what are normal and abnormal kidding positions thank you Finkel hope we don't need this I agree um and just showing normal and um problematic presentations of singles and twins so um, I didn't make these images. I found them online and printed them out, but I wanted to have them handy because you never know. So I've got that in there. Let's see. Um, I've got my kid polar or lamb polar, which is sterilized in this bag. I hope I never need that, but if I need it, I have it. Probably, I mean, I'd have to sterilize it again before using it and stored, but I've got um, bottles and a bottle, some different nipples. I've got some uh, betadine in here for dipping navels. Got some different nipples. These are lamb, lamb nipples. Got a wheat kid syringe. Also, hope I don't ever need this, but if you need to tube feed a kid. Got some paper towels. Uh, I've got some here some selenium and vitamin E gel if you've got kids with weak legs I've got a multi-species colostrum gel hope I don't ever need that you know Finkel should have colostrum for her kids I've got got some bungee cords and also um, a leash in here 
and that's in case I needed to tie her up if I had to assist. I needed to get her into a better position or lift up her hips or um, assisting with repositioning a kid. I've got some trash bags and little bags in here for just, you know, cleaning up messy towels and things like that to be able to bring them right in the house. Oh, the top broke off this. I thought something happened. We need to, need to address that. Okay. And then in this little bag here, last but not least, think all. I've got gloves and some different syringes, uh, needles, got bulb nose sucker, uh, these little plastic cups for dipping navel, these alcohol prep pads if I need to give injections or if I need to give more calcium gluconate, which is in the barn but should be in my kitting kit. Uh, I've also got these surgical scissors for cutting umbilical cords, needles for drying out the calcium gluconate out of the bottle. Again, you give it orally, but you got to draw it out with a syringe. And this is just this thing that I meant to use last time with Sunny's kids and didn't. Take a cute little picture. And uh, that's about it. I've also got over here, kind of tucked into the straw there, you can see the cord. That is, uh, I'll show you, I'll put these towels down to get dirty. Oops. What do you think, Fink? This is my electro kennel. It's a, it's called a whelping pad. And when I plug it in, it gets warm. It keeps a constant temperature. And when you have kids and you need to get them warm, uh, you know, this is a must have. It's like, Plenty warm enough outside. I should not need that, but I have it and I will plug it in once she starts uh, pushing or gets close to that. You see Sunny and Sai and Haggis and Wendy in here. Heidi and Cherry must be outside eating hay. So uh, that's where we're at right now. I will turn this camera off, save my battery, and when something more interesting happens, I'll turn you guys back on. What's that about, Fink? <laughs> Always a character, aren't ya? <laughs> Sprayed some of my homemade fly spray, and boy, what a difference. No more flies. Sprayed all the bedding with it, and sprayed Finkel, and sprayed myself. Stiffening up, having some contractions, still eating, so can't be that bad, right, Fink? Waiting to see if she's going to bag up more prior. No slime. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of change yet, huh, Finky? She's in pain. Be real confusing being a first timer, huh, girl? Gentle, don't pick it up, okay? You gotta get away from it just a little bit, okay? Easy, Fink. Be careful, Finky. That baby, Ellie. Let's move it so it doesn't get stepped on. Little baby, huh? Oh, hi, little. Inko had a baby, Ellie. Hank, that's your baby. Let her, let Finkel touch it. Finkel's got a bond with it. She's got to know that's her baby. Gentle, Ellie. I just happened to look at the monitor and I saw Finkel was pushing, even though I didn't see any slime. I didn't know she was in active labor and Boom, I came out here just in time for this kid to be born. Got Ellie out here barefoot. Uh, Finkel isn't really showing any interest in the kid yet. You know, quite a bit of blood. Um, 
kid's not hollering yet, so I'm gonna get it cleaned off some more. Ellie, gentle. That's Miss Spinko's baby. Gotta be really gentle, Ellie. Okay, let's see. When would I clean his mouth out more, maybe? You okay, little baby? You got more fluid in your lungs? You seem okay. But cough it out. Finkel, this is your baby. This is your baby, Fink. This is your baby. Yes, baby goat. This is Finkel. This is your kid. Fink, this is your baby. It's your baby. Yeah, clean it off. Oh, good girl, Finky. Is that your baby? You stay right there, Ellie. God, you guys, my heart is just racing to just Finny. see her pushing and not be out here. And Oh, she really caught me off guard. Is that a baby, Ellie? No. Uh -huh. Sit back and let Miss Finkel clean off her baby first, okay? I don't think I don't want you to step on it, though. You seem unaware of that. Okay. No, let Miss Finkel clean it. Okay. Yeah, Miss Finkel's got to clean it off. That's her baby. That happened so fast, Fink. No, no, no. You may not pick it up, okay? okay. It's a brand new baby. It can't even walk yet. Okay. Yeah, Finkel's going to clean it. See, she's licking it. She's cleaning her baby. Oh, Fink. Baby. Baby is trying to stand up, Ellie. Oh, she no. goes, mine? Like right away when it came out. Uh, baby, yeah, mine? It's yours, Ellie. You got to sit back though, okay? Because Miss Finkel is hopefully going to have another baby or two. We've got something going on, Fink. There's a lot. It's already trying. Mine. You're being so good, Fink. Go. Baby wants to nourish Finkel. You got another one coming? He must. She's moving. She wants to clean it off more still. Oh. She's got to have at least one more in there. Gentle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, gentle. Mama's cleaning the baby off. Hey, 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 do not do that, okay? You got to be real gentle with that little baby. Baby. Yes. Ooh, goat. Goat. <laughs> You get to be here for a baby goat birth. She seems like she's lifting her tail like she's got right. something else going on. Ooh. Let's see. Here, scoot back just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's licking that baby, huh? <laughs> oh, it, well, it hasn't, like, cried at all, so I was, like, kind of scared because... At first, like, I didn't have my box. My box was in the other room, so Finkel wouldn't climb on it gentle. And I was like, oh, my God. I, nice. I didn't have a towel nice. on. It was coming baby. out. And Christ, baby. <laughs>
I think that's the placenta. So. Yeah, you can't pick them up, okay, baby? Ooh, baby! Yep, that must be the placenta. It's not gonna work. Yeah. Baby? Mm hmm. Baby? Yep, got two babies, huh? Twins. Wow. Almost totally identical, too. Little twins. Baby! That one's got a little white spot. Oh. Yep. Do not pick that goat watch up. Watch it. Watch it. You watch it. I said you cannot pick the goat up. Ooh, okay. Goat. Yeah. Two baby goats, huh? One. One. Two. Two baby goats, Ellie. Uh. Don't pick him up, though. Okay. Be so gentle. Tickle, tickle. Well, Bryce, what do you think about birth? Cool. Went, went pretty fast, huh? Eat, eat, eat. Yummy. Yeah. They're hungry. They want to nurse. Don't pull the tears. That's it, huh, Fink? Twins? Yep. That's the placenta there. Is it like a bubble? Yep. It's like a big sack. It protected the baby. So right? That's how the babies get nutrients from their mom when they're in their belly. Baby! Come on. No, this, you can watch, baby. You can come see. It's just her placenta. Swiss and white buck. You little know, wobbly bud. Think, hey, clean this one. No strong Finko, look at her. She's up. Little boys. Little box, huh? What we think and think. You're done, right? You got three babies. Got her some nice warm molasses water with the help of my nephew and my mother in law who have Ellie now. 
Well, that's good, Thank you. you needed that, huh? Birth is hard work. I can't imagine triplets. Got a lot of blood coming out. Babies, Frank. What do you think about Sunny coming to look at your babies? Is that okay? Sunny, there's new babies. Hard work giving birth to three babies. Everybody's looking good so far. Hey, little buck. Little surprise boy. I thought she was done. It's hard being born, isn't it? Oh my gosh, look at that face. Hi. Hello. Look at your big ears. And she is a spunky one. <laughs> He's death and effing. Look at him. Oh my goodness. Look at that face. Oh, hey, buddy, would you nap in? Oh. Oh, my goodness. Look. Hi. Hi, little boy. And the little girl who's so spunky, so lively, huh? You strong girl. the placenta normal looks good she had grain in her water oh, this little guy the firstborn is getting up to nurse again that's good and this little guy nursed a couple of times and I'll make sure he nurses some more he's so cute so so cute three little babies looking for a teat pretty amazing Everybody's doing so good. Nursing up. Well, Doe's like sleeping, standing up on the right there, and then the two bucks on the left. Doing good, thank you. Mm, looks like she is passing the placenta now. Flip that little Swiss block, flicking him. Oh, Pink, he's such a good mom. Three sacks, three babies. I sent a picture to my mentor. She said that's a large clot and it's fine. And to make sure I gave her that additional dose of calcium, glucamine. Well, there you have it. Finkel had a beautiful, unassisted birth. Two bucks in a dough, three healthy kids. So thankful for three healthy kids and a healthy dough. You know, of course I'll check on everyone later. I have my barn cam so I can check on them, uh, you know, late at night before I go to bed or early in the morning or if I wake up, you know. It's a little nerve wracking having babies. I mean, there's a lot of pieces that need to fall into place. You know, you want your dough to be producing colostrum. You want those kids to be nursing. They need to stay warm. She needs to be attentive. She needs to be making milk. They all need to be nursing, latching. They've all nursed. They've all latched. They've all got a suck reflex. I've made sure that they've all nursed, you know, multiple times. I've seen them all get up and nurse on their own. I've given her uh, calcium. She's past the placenta. She's got a little bit still in there. She's got like a cord hanging down. My mentor said that was fine. Definitely not going to pull it out. I learned uh, from Sunny giving birth on accident. I broke the, the water sack that basically acts as a weight for Sunny's placenta. And that was a little scary, but you know, she passed that fine. So I'll just keep an eye on Finkel. Bleeding is normal. Bleeding for weeks afterwards is normal. Once the kids are um, a little bit older, tomorrow or the next day, I will pull Finkel and I will milk some colostrum out of her, 
give them um, some time, you know, away from mom and then um, offer them a bottle, you know, get them hungry, offer them a bottle. We uh, dual raise, meaning that I both supplement with a bottle and allow the moms to raise them or dam raise. And there's a lot of reasons why we do that. There's a lot of benefits to that. And I can do a separate video on that if you're interested. But I'm going to go in and shower now. It's around 6.30 p.m. And I am covered in birth fluids and blood and hay and straw and who knows what else. So I need a shower. I got the does milked and fed for the evening. I've got Sai and Haggis, my two older dolings, uh, locked up and they're tucked in for the night. Finkel is seemingly an attentive mom and she's been great with the kids. And um, I will just kind of wrap this video up here. It's going to be a long one, lots of footage. I think I got some great stuff. I missed the first buckling being born, really. I probably didn't film that, I don't think. I don't know. All a blur, really. It just happened so fast. She was really sneaky. I didn't even know she was in active labor. I never saw any goo. Next thing I knew, I looked at my barn cam and she was laying down screaming and pushing. And I ran out here in my house shoes, which are very, very dirty now and are going to need to soak for a long time before they can be house shoes again. And Ellie was barefoot and it was just a crazy experience. She loved it. She loves the baby goats. She immediately said they were hers and was so sweet with them. So, yeah, that was a goat birth for you, and uh, definitely a, overall, I'd say textbook, a very easy delivery, and nice healthy kids, standing up nursing, doing all the goat things, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.